Robert Gucci. He's a senior lecturer at Lancaster University in the UK. He joins us now live. Thanks so much uh, for speaking to us. Uh, let's begin with the immigration issue and Trump saying he plans to block all of it. Twofold question then. I mean, do you think that's actually a prudent step at this point? And will it honestly, you know, protect American jobs or just kind of provide a scapegoat for massive unemployment? Yeah, I mean, at, at this point, this is Donald Trump doubling down on his immigration policy that he had from uh, his campaign, uh, keeping others out of the United States, and certainly uh, going to the criticisms that he says the WHO had uh, against him about potential bans and, and real bans that he might have put in place. A lot of this is uh, smoke and mirrors. We don't we, we don't know exactly what Donald Trump sees happening here. We don't know. Uh, what actions uh, Trump's administration has really taken about immigration. Uh, we hear that the State Department isn't processing visas, um, but is, is that because uh, they're, they're busy doing other things or because we already have started uh, some sort of uh, ban informally? Uh, this is a campaign move as much as it is something that he thinks will actually uh, stop a pandemic from, from spreading in the United States. And it does diffuse uh, the, the conversation about these low-wage low workers uh, trying to protect jobs uh, for Americans that aren't uh, good-paying jobs to begin with. The, the unemployment rate uh, is really something that is, is scary for people who are unemployed, but a lot of those people already were underemployed. And, and so this uh, mucks, uh, mucks up the water even more so that we can't talk about a lot of the social strife that has led to the, the degree of uh, struggle that uh, is right. being faced in the country. That's very interesting points you've made there, and they really do fly under the radar in the, in the larger discussion of, of what's happening with this pandemic. But let me ask you this question specific to the pandemic and, and this move to block immigration. What about health care workers? I mean, a number of them are brought in from developing countries, but highly trained. They are desperately needed right now in the United States. Has there been any provision made to make sure that they are allowed to stay in and come in if necessary? Well, you know, that's certainly not something that's come from that that tweet and the conversation uh, since then. I mean, this is an issue that uh, is faced in the United Kingdom uh, as well, with so many uh, NHS workers being from outside of the United Kingdom, uh, and yet policymakers wanting to uh, keep America or Great Britain uh, great or make it great again. Uh, this is this is a concern about how we treat workers uh, in a capitalistic system. Um, and we're concerned also about the health of these individuals. Uh, are they getting the personal protection equipment that they're that they're needing? No, that's the answer we're seeing in both nations. Uh, and how is that being distributed across people who are from a particular area and are uh, guests coming into the country or who are right. legitimately right. living in the country? Uh, Robert, let me ask you one final question, uh, just looking forward. You know, as far as the U.S. social and political dynamics are concerned at this point, they were already polarized. We know that. But given this pandemic and how it's, how President Trump has seemingly further uh, divided people on this issue, do you expect the polarization to actually get worse going toward the upcoming election? Or will the United States try to find unity uh, around this tragedy together? Well, we're not seeing movement toward unity. I mean, even within the Democratic Party during their primary season, uh, you know, they, they pushed out um, a left-leaning uh, Bernie Sanders for a centrist, uh, and, and that person's divisive uh, on, the, on the campaign stage as well. We're seeing people who are turning to religion and faith, um, but we're seeing that as being a, a division as well. People saying that their constitutional rights are being infringed upon, uh, because of a tyrannical government that maybe they actually voted for. Uh, and I think there's so much concern and so much fear and worry and outright uh, lack of food on the table that uh, a person in a position of power like Donald Trump or the next person who comes along really has the ear of a public wanting to hear where they go. Uh, and that could lead to very drastic changes in policy and social life in the U.S. Okay, Robert Gucci, thank you so much for joining us there. We appreciate it.